Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. It is the week before Easter and I have not done an Easter video. I mentioned to Patrick at Light Source Engraving and mentioned to him I was going to be doing what I'm doing and he said, well, at least it's a holy video. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing today is using donuts to mark metal. That's right. I'll be using my Tasty Cake Donuts to mark metal. <laughs> so hang around. Okay, so in my last video, I had to mark these 29 millimeter stainless steel medallions and I showed how I've been getting such great success with my Brilliance Black Metal Marking Spray on the diode. Even though it's not marketed for diode applications, this works great with the diode. And I've been getting tons and tons of emails since uh, asking me what kind of metals I use, uh, <clears throat> why that, why not use this or use that. I get great uh, results out of using uh, French's yellow mustard. I get great results from doing dry erase markers. I get great results just plain. I get, well, you can. You can get results like that. Um, and unless you've done a side by side by side comparison, you don't know just how bad yours looks without doing some testing uh, and it depends on you know what's acceptable to you is is this strictly a uh, hobby and and uh, a plain marking and without any material on some good quality stainless you can get a good mark uh, but not as good as you can with the marking spray so in this video I decided to do a heads up comparison starting out with just a blank medallion and I've engraved the same image with uh, three different applications. The first one uh, I did just plain, and I'm taking these straight off the laser bed. I haven't cleaned these yet, and that's going to be part of the test. Part of this test is to see how well they hold up after they've been removed from the laser bed. And so this one is going to be, uh, in fact, I'm going to tilt the camera down here. This hopefully will be framed properly. This is going to be just a plain stainless. There was nothing applied to the surface for uh, in, prior to engraving. This one was done with the powdered donuts. Tasty cake powdered mini donuts. And then lastly... This is done with the Brilliance Laser Marking Spray. Now, I haven't cleaned any of these. They've come straight off the laser bed. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a plain old towel, nothing on them, dry towel. I'm trying to keep this all on camera so as nobody says, oh, that was sleight of hand. Now, initially, this had some kind of a burn residue around the perimeter of the engraving, and all that kind of wiped up, so it's, that's looking pretty clean. Like I said, this one was done with nothing added to the surface. I'm trying to get my smudges off here. I'm going to go back and we're going to go at this with some polish too to see just how permanent of a mark this is. All right, now this is the donuts. Let's get the donut off of here. And then lastly, that's still kind of smudgy, but this is the Brilliance Laser Marking Spray. Now, again, just a dry towel. Look at that. It wipes right off. I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. All right. Now, I'm going to polish these.
with some polishing compound and see how permanent of a mark this is. In fact, I'm just going to kind of mix these around up in here. Now they are labeled on the back as far as which is which. Now you don't know which is which. And this is, uh, I don't know if it's Moss, uh, but, but this is a fine polishing cream for all metals. I use this for polishing out silver, aluminum, gold. But a little dab of do you. And I'm going to take, put a little dab on this one. And I've got a microfiber cloth. And we're just going to start trying to rub any of this off. We've got hair on there. It's a good permanent mark. And I just threw it in the floor. And got my fingerprints all over it again. This is really tough to do and keep the smudges off of it. Okay, that one's cleaned up pretty good. That little towel was making it hard to hold on with these things. Not a lot of difference in those two. This one has got a, I can actually feel a difference in the cleaning and the polishing. This one has got a much heavier mark to it. It's a lot darker. These were all three done at the same speed and power. So I don't know how I wished I could see my monitor and what this is looking like. How well you can see. But that's a decent image. 
when I'm rubbing that, I can just barely feel an image on there. There's not much there, but you can barely, barely feel it. And this one. This one's more evident. You can feel more going there. It's a little darker. Has a little more contrast to it. And I really, I can't see the light in the camera and how this is working. And then lastly, this one. A big difference there and how that one is on the surface. And now, I think those are actually in order. Just as I presented them. So, that one cleaned up. And it's okay. And that one is... That one was done plain, five millimeters a second and 100% power with the diode and got a decent mark on that 29 millimeter stainless steel. This one is slightly better. You can feel it more. There is more detail to it. And I'm going to put some close up images in here. But this one is the donut. Tasty cakes, powdered mini donuts, and then lastly, that one is the Brilliance Laser Marking Spray. Brilliance at uh, 5 millimeters a second or 300 millimeters a minute and 100% power. And that's much, much darker. And we'll put them up here side by side. I don't know if this is going to show in the camera, but it will in the photographs. I'll make sure of that. This is the donut. This is the brilliance. This is the plain. And then the brilliance. So, so can you do marking with anything? Uh, I just proved you can do it with a donut. And so, not anything, maybe, but a lot of things. Uh, it is going to depend on your your their metals. I guess. Plain aluminum is not going to mark, not with a diode. Uh, if it, you're removing a, a coating from aluminum is one thing, but you're not going to mark on just plain aluminum without something on it. Uh, and different qualities of metals, depending on their blends and what was put together to make those, they're going to react differently. But this uh, is a, a high-grade, jewelry-grade, polished stainless steel, and it's marking very, very well. It marked well with nothing marked better with the donut and marked best with the brilliance. Now, why did the donut work better than plain? Now, the Tasty Cake Mini Powdered Donuts. Now, this is really fine print for an old man. But if you read down in the ingredients far enough, you will find titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide. And that's where Tasty Cakes Mini Powdered Donuts gets its white coloring from. The titanium dioxide. This is pure titanium dioxide. Nothing but 100% food grade titanium dioxide. And when you look at this, I'm just going to dip my finger in here. It is just like sticking your finger in the bag of Tasty Cakes. Titanium dioxide is the chemical agent that makes the magic happen when you're marking on metals. That is the secret sauce in the white spray paint. That's the the, the secret sauce in uh, most of the coatings 
that you put on whenever you're trying to make a permanent mark on metals. It's titanium dioxide. It does not say anywhere on this can titanium dioxide. It doesn't say it in the ingredients or the listings. In fact, I don't even think they list uh, ingredients on here because it's proprietary. But having sprayed this, I'm relatively sure that yes, the secret sauce in this is also titanium dioxide. Now the reason I have this big bag of pure titanium dioxide is I was working on my own mixture and formulations before I found Brilliance. I was working on some type of delivery system and a uh, mixture that would allow me to get a good even coat of titanium dioxide on the surface and make my markings but I had no luck uh, I think the one thing I didn't do I didn't try mixing it with the uh, denatured alcohol I was mixing it with uh, peroxide and a few other different things trying to something that would flash and evaporate quickly and leave just a nice titanium oxide coating <laughs> trial and trial and trial and error and in also, finding a, the proper delivery system uh, it was more work, uh, and the, the payoff was not that great. So, I'm lazy to a degree. I'm, I, I will work, I will try, to, but I'm also cheap. So, I will work kind of hard to save a buck, but time is money. And if you spend more time trying to save that dollar than your time is worth, then you've wasted money. So that's why I, I abandoned all hope of form, coming up with my own formulation because this is cheap enough that it's not worth my time to do any more research. This works as good or better because this they've, they've researched and already done all the homework and they have a really good delivery system. It's an anti-clog anti valve. It flashes and dries in five to seven minutes, depending on the temperature and the humidity levels. But this flashes very quick, and it goes right to the laser. There's no, with the paint and all these other coatings, you prep them and wait 24 to 48 hours. No, nah, five to seven minutes, and you're ready to go. Uh, you can try and do uh, all these other crazy things with... The mustards and the dry erasers and uh, and yes they are going to produce an image plain will produce an image but I can close my eyes and feel which one of these is the brilliance laser marking spray that one it's got a little bit so I'm guessing that one is the donut this one I can't feel nothing and there's a little 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 bit but this one this one right here brilliance brilliance laser marking spray this is the trick so yes you guys can send me all the emails and comments you want about hey this works that works this works but I'm I've been doing this for a little over a year I ain't been doing it for years uh, but uh, right at a year not over a year but right at a year this is the best stuff I found and I have looked, I have tried, I have tried to make my own. I'm not going to bother wasting any more time. I'm not going to bother replying to any more comments about, hey, this or this or that or that'll work. Because if you haven't tried this and can, vent, and can show me vid, uh, either video proof or photographic proof that something works better for, than this at a lower price, I'm not going to give you the time of day. Um, so, I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and this will be uh, my last comments about Brilliance for a while. If you want to try this, hobowithwood.com slash Brilliance Inks, and I'll put that right there in the, in, in the bottom of the screen. That'll get you 10% off of your can of Brilliance. You can see this for yourself. It's half the cost of the Surmark laser marking sprays and works probably adds good even if the sir mark works, works twice as better twice as well this brilliance laser marking spray even for a business application two times this is going to be almost indistinguishable
because this is so darn good. So that's that. That was my holy video by taking my tasty cake, powdered mini white donuts, crumble them up and spring them and smush them all over the surface of that and engraving. I was able to get a better result than I was plain and it was because of the titanium oxide and the tasty cake powdered donuts that made the image work. So now I'm going to get off here, go make a real video. We're going to do some design creations, making some borders, and we'll see you in that next video. Until then, I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and I'm out.